Yeah. So it doesn't matter. But uh, you know, this is all camp. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about uh, happy, seasonal employment. Yeah, happy holidays for seasonal workers. <laughs> and part of us, you're going, what? Well, you know, they hire all the time during the holidays. And I know last year some of the people thought, well, they didn't hire as many people as I thought they would have. Could, this year? This year? Okay, we'll put it this year. If you're, if you want a good tip on where to go to be hired for seasonal employment, go see who who supported Obama for the last presidential campaign and who's pumping money in the Democratic Party. They're hiring people. Now, isn't there an easier tip that we can give the people than that? Well, <laughs> not really, because uh, okay, they've all got the same thing in their statement that the stimulus plan worked beyond expectations, and people are out spending money. You know, to buy new things far greater than what we thought. Of course, uh, big chains like Walmart, Target, Kmart. You know, the big discounters are, are said that they expect it to be flat, mm -hmm. mainly because all the economists, left and right and middle and all over the place, said that they expect sales to be down four to five percent from last year. Yeah, and last year they didn't have really fully stocked shelves mm -hmm. either. I mean, part of it is we went out, and I'm sitting there going, you know. I was thought they would have had this. I was looking for this, but they didn't have the stuff that I wanted. We got one total bargain, one. Oh. One. That was it. I mean, we went, we went out. We went out on the days. Actually, we went out the day before their sales were to start, and stuff was already on sale there, everywhere. Well, because they, you know, they don't just flip the switch and it's all there. It's like they have to set up before. Yeah, but they, they used to. What they do is shut down that early that evening, put everything in, and open early the next day. They don't do that anymore. It's all on the floor. The help that they bring in are actually the people that set stuff up. They're not really salespeople. They're the ones that bring the stuff in, set it up, and then they're gone. Mm -hmm. but, but, I mean, uh, Toys R Us, Best Buy, they're adding uh, unbelievable amounts of people into their stores. Toys R Us is adding kiosks, aren't they? Yeah. And I think the Best Buy said Best Buy is going to add, they're on television, they had 29,000 people. And he said, well, you know, we hadn't anticipated the stimulus provoke, you know, Moving the economy as great as it did over at Toys R Us, thanks to the stimulus, there you know the jobs were saved and people are out there working and making money. Mm. Unemployment, you know, keeps going up, folks. So you have one set of companies that are doing over hiring. Yeah, and, and you other, have other set set they're, that's they're, not they're probably not, not really hiring, no. and they're going to have flat and inventory. They're flat inventory. That is the one thing. The same. It's, people, not, it's not both the. The same people that are saying the stimulus works so well are not going to add extra inventory. But they're adding extra help. You're not adding extra inventory, but you're adding extra help. That means the extra help is, when I say temporary, they mean temporary. Like, say, November the 4th? <laughs> well, I, yeah, well, part of it is, well, actually, you know what? That's right. If you're looking for seasonal employment, right now is probably the time to look. Because yeah. if you look like mid November, it's probably too late. Yeah. They said Santa Claus is hiring is down. Oh, if Santa Claus hiring you know is what? down, maybe because Santa Claus is might in some areas are politically incorrect. Well, they're always politically incorrect. I mean, I know. you know, such as you know, saying the word "gay" is politically incorrect. I was watching last and that night. That may be somebody's name. I was watching a movie written by Gay Talese. So really, Ooh. and how about uh, Sir Gay Eisenstein? You know, the name was Sir, and they made it, his name was Gay Eisenstein. Mm -hmm. You know about uh, you know. Uh, Another one of the, uh, uh, a lot of British people, a lot of British and French have the first name Gay. Mm -hmm. You know, or the, uh, Sir Galahad was known as Gay. Mm -hmm. That was what people referred to me. But, um, uh, political correctness is bad, but I mean, we're getting to actually political correctness with hiring people. They're hiring people that basically um, will make the president look good. Well, the economy is doing so well, we're boosting the economy before, we're boosting the hiring before the election by 100,000 people. Well, the problem was, they also whacked out 195,000 people. Mm -hmm. So all of those businesses that basically announced that they were hiring, they got buried under the pile of the people that lost all their jobs from the businesses that aren't selling anything. Even Walmart is, Walmart is, uh, the discounters are all in such bad shape that they're 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 not planning on good years. They're not even planning on discounting stuff a lot this year. Mm -hmm. So so to say that the you know happy holidays for seasonal workers. There uh, one person said there's a hundred hundred position hundred people for every seasonal job. So is that going to help out? 
Well, yeah. see, here's the good part is if you're unemployed or you need another job, there is seasonal work. Yeah. And um, Just for a few. Well, it's better than nothing. And the other part is with everything, all the changes, you might actually be able to collect unemployment afterwards. Oh, yeah, for the next two years. Isn't you go that... to work, you get, you get, you, if, if you're lucky enough to get an, a job, then Obama will pay for your, uh, pay for you, to, you know, the next couple of years. They'll give you health care free of charge, your home free of charge, food stamps, and, mm -hmm. and money for the next two years. Probably pay for your Rolls Royce if you got one. Yeah, so some of you that may piss you off, but for well, others, I mean, oh, the, you're giving you the, the heads up. The problem comes, though, is that that all comes to an end in that, the, the 6th of November. Oh, yeah, there's an election. They aren't going to get any more extensions after the 6th of November. Oh. Because if they, if even the Democrats have pointed out, their, their economic income says the people don't actually start looking for work until their unemployment is about to wear out. Mm -hmm. If they give you another year of extension on your unemployment, you have no reason to work. Don't look for another extension on unemployment to happen after the, after the 6th of November. That ain't going to happen. And the President of the United States, well, you can't expect the President of the United States is going to do an executive order to do it, but, but then don't look for Congress to fund it. So I mean, these poor people are all, sh they're shields in the Democratic Party's game to show the economy is booming. Like we talked about. What do you see when you go to, when you come, when, from the people going out of the grocery stores? Not that much. What do you see when the people are coming out of the shopping malls? Not that much. What are the size bags that people are carrying now? You know. The little, the little green bags that are basically like this versus the brown paper bags that are like this. And they're not carrying maybe one one bag. They'll go into a store where they, you know, it used to come out with a dozen bags. Now they're coming out with one green bag. Mm -hmm. um, and they said, Mid okay, the economy is booming so well that these people that are flourishing under the Democratic Party are waiting till midnight to go shopping at 24-hour grocery stores because that's when they start culling the shelves of all the stuff that they're getting rid of. Yeah. We do it. I mean, we don't wait till midnight. We come in the next day, but we're, we're buying we're buying five dollar loaves of bread for ninety nine cents, buying uh, cans of tea for ninety buck. You know, I mean, the other day we do take advantage of those things. No, but um, it, it, I I I think the most inexcusable thing this president can do is things like you know this headline hopping it up that's a happy holidays for seasonal workers. They're all got to get their butts can before Christmas. All of them. But they'll be working a little bit. But that's not what they're counting on. They're counting on being able to work for like six weeks and instead the, the you don't bet that these companies that are hiring these people are not going to can their rear ends the day after the Democrats lose the House of Representatives mm -hmm. and the day after because they said, I mean, well, I've talked before, I heard, I saw last night a Republican said, I like my, I like the guy that's run, I'm running against. Everybody likes the guy I'm running against. He's running on my platform. Said we could be, he could be a member of the Republican Party. He is so conservative, and he's 19 points down to the Republican. And he said, and the reason why is because they're running against uh, the the nation is in a referendum on Obama. Mm -hmm. It is not a referendum on on. Everybody likes the guy in their district. I mean, Barney Frank is in trouble. It's not that they don't like Barney Frank, they don't like Barack Obama. Boxer is in trouble. She's only got, she's within the margin for error. Yeah, and she's and, been in there forever. And she's in Barney Frank. And they got, they're in liberal districts. Uh, uh, Harry Reid in a left wing state is in trouble. Um, Nancy Pelosi is barely winning against a guy that's not even running against her. Well, why put up a campaign against Pelosi in San Francisco? You can't win. They don't like Pelosi. They said the reason why they don't have the health care that they wanted, gay rights and a card check, is because of Nancy Pelosi and her, uh, her hard handling of everything. Mm. So this is this, this thing that they put in. Remember the Los Angeles Times and all these newspapers support the president. Mm -hmm. But if they also say that the person, in the, you know, if, the, if the person is being interviewed, say that because the stimulus has done so well, that's a tip off that it's a political job. Yeah. You got to remember, Obama's sitting on nearly three hundred billion dollars of, um, of stimulus money, mm -hmm. and if he wants to pump a few billion of dollars out into companies to stimulate their hiring for a few weeks until the election, 
or to make it look like, well, I mean, remember, just because they're being hired doesn't mean they'll ever show up for one day of work. Mm. They'll say, do the economic situation. The economic situation meaning the Republicans took control of the House or the Senate or both. Yeah. And it, like I said, that a president is going to run, even the time that a president tends to run an imperial presidency by executive order, he can't fund anything. He can't fund a single thing. And the Democrats are not going to give him, they wouldn't give him $50 billion more. I mean, we'll put it this way. If, if, if Barack Obama wants a spending program, he generally gets it from... Uh, uh, Olympia Snow. Olympia Snow and Susan Collins will basically, they look at the President of the United States, you, you want a hundred billion dollars so you can get a butt scratcher for you in the White House? Okay. Mm -hmm. They give a hundred billion dollars so you can rub up against the thing and scratch his rear end. That's how easy it is to get money from those two people who are in, who are fiscally conservative state. Mm -hmm. Both of them from the same state, of course, too. But both of them will be gone in the next election because they like them gone now, but one of them has cancer and the other's old, so they're not, they don't do that. That's, you know, Republicans generally, they'll eat their own, but they don't eat their own sick, so. The oh, is that will, what it is? Yeah. You don't get, you know... Uh, you just you, wait for the next election. You wait for the next election, then you throw them out of office, which is what's happening now. The Republicans, older Republicans are getting bounced, all House members, Senate members, but the, the, the worst thing that you can do to people that basically have nothing is to build up their hopes that you're going to give them something. And they don't think this is a giveaway. These are people that aren't working, that have worked and want to work again. Mm -hmm. And they actually think there's going to be... Uh, what is it, six or seven hundred thousand new jobs for them? They well, haven't created guys, that many jobs since the stimulus started. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah. Part of it is, is if they're hiring and you're looking for work, you got to take advantage of it for as long as it lasts. But, but don't have these long-term expectations. But if the biggest, biggest discount stores in the land are not hiring people, that's a tip out. Why would a place that sells consumer electronics be hiring people? Why would Toys R Us, who's had basically on the verge of bankruptcy, I mean, every toy company out there is folded because they can't, the people aren't buying the stuff, they can't afford it. You know, like um, the big items were like, was it $10 a piece last year that people were buying on our list or something, a Christmas list? So, and you go into Toys R Us, you see a god awful lot of expensive stuff. That stuff's not something you see going to Toys R Us. Nobody comes out with anything. They go in and they look around. I mean, look at how many bicycles set over at Walmart that are selling. Go to a Walmart and see there are not, the aisles are almost empty. Go to Target, the aisles are almost empty. Kmart, the aisles are not almost empty. Where they used to have great big displays in aisles for people to pick up the stuff, they're not even stocking shelves full anymore. Yeah. None your your clue is real. I mean, we've been talking about this, but your clue is if you go out the day or two before um, Black Friday, yeah. then you'll really know what's going to be happening. Yeah, because we, we did that. We, we made a point of going all over the place um, last year, mm -hmm. and then the next day we told everybody what was available, <laughs> and we knew what the prices were. Actually, sometimes the prices were cheaper before the sales. Well, actually, one of the things that I noticed is that in November, right, if you buy it like the first part of November, the u price is usually here, and then the price goes up yeah. right before the holiday, and then if it's Black Friday, it'll drop, but otherwise it's going to stay higher through the holidays. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, the Cyber Monday isn't a big, Cyber Monday basically is not a great deal. Okay. But if you also buy it for at the beginning of November, you keep your receipt, you can also have the return policy until January yeah. something, when, you know. But a lot of the stores have pulled back on their return policies now. If you buy the return, if you buy the merchandise during those time periods, they basically charge you a fee for returning. Make, make sure you buy your tips. Um, make sure you keep your um, receipts. Receipt, yeah. And if you buy a gift, get a gift receipt because the other person you're giving it to might not be able to return it or exchange it. Also, don't open it because they do have open um, return yeah. stocking fees. Oh, I know. And I know there's a lot of parents out there that the kids give them something and they want to look like they're really excited so they sit there and open it up. Yeah. I mean, right? We, well, well, we bought a camera where they goofed when they packaged it. 